Oh, I forgot to shave my mustache before we did this. Oh well. Hey everyone, I'm Monica and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a book that I just finished that I cannot recommend enough. It's called These Ghosts Are Family by Maisie Card. So this book follows a Jamaican family through generations and generations from the 1800s all the way now to 2020. It's wild. Also, while I talk about the book to make it a little bit more fun, I'm gonna turn this into a kind of get ready with me. I'm gonna make a makeup look based on the cover of the book, just cause I thought it'd be more fun than me just talking. And before we get started, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more fun videos like this. Okay, let's talk about this book. So I found this book because I was searching for new books by black women uh, to check out. And this one came up over and over again, like everyone was recommending it. And Macy Card is an amazing author. This is her first book, which is astonishing because it's so beautifully written. I mean, she's also a genius, so I guess it's not that surprising. So remember like in maybe grade school or elementary school where you had to make a family tree and like trace your relatives? This is that times like a million. Actually in the front of the book, Maisie lists a family tree, which is like when you first open the book and you look at it, it's very confusing. But those are actually all the characters you're gonna meet as we go through. It is a little confusing to keep all the characters straight and I honestly loved that. Oof, that's too much primer. I like that it was a little confusing to keep everybody straight because that's like how a real big family is. If you come from a large family, especially one where some people have immigrated to other countries like me and like Maisie, you know that it's hard to keep track of where everyone is and how old everyone is and who you're on the phone with and like that was very relatable that I was getting a little bit lost in the characters like you really would in a huge family like that over many generations. So there are a lot of characters in this book. There's literally like 15 characters. And what's really interesting about this book is you flip between all of them and you see it from all of their different perspectives, which I haven't really seen a lot in other books. It all kind of starts with um, the character Abel, who like in the 70s abandons his family, lets them think he's dead, and moves to New York. So he's kind of like the catalyst of like this big secret in the family. And like the whole time you're reading, you know that he did that, but like some other characters don't know. And you're like, oh, this is really giving me anxiety. When are they gonna find out? So there's Abel who like abandons some of the other characters that you hear from. There's Ruthie who like closer to the present gets into a really good boarding school, but then like gets kicked out, which is really hard to read. And there's even some white characters thrown in because they do relate back to the Jamaican family because of slavery. There's two white characters. There's Debbie in the present and Peta Gay in the 1800s. And honestly, in my opinion, both of them are dumbass bitches, but that's up for debate. The way that the perspective of all the different characters jumps through time really does make them feel like ghosts, you know, which is awesome. and good writing on Maisie's part because the title of the book is These Ghosts Are Family. Hmm, almost like it's that on purpose. Even the characters that are set closer to the present, like in the 2010s and 2020, even they feel like distant and faded and like just kind of like memories of people, even though when I was reading it, I know in my mind that we're alive at the same time. And so, you know, once again, that really shows how Carr just nails it with the title. These Ghosts Are Family. It's like people who are memories of memories of memories who become more and more distant as time goes on, but they're still important to the events that are happening in the present. One of the main themes in These Ghosts Are Family is generational trauma. How things that your ancestors did decades ago or even hundreds of years ago are still affecting your life in the present. That is crazy to think about. Like something that someone did a hundred years ago who's related to me has trickled all the way down to the life that I have now. Like things that your great great grandmother did are still affecting you today, especially if she was a slave. Slavery in Jamaica is a backdrop for a lot of the book. That made it kind of hard to read sometimes, honestly, because Slavery in Jamaica and for all black people is, as we know, a tragedy that we're all still dealing with. So reading the sections of this book that were from the perspective of ancestors in this family who were slaves was really hard and got pretty sad. 
But honestly, that is how I want to feel while reading a book on this topic. Like, it's talking about some real ass trauma that's not going to be easy to take in. So that was actually a sign to me that the book was really good. Whoa, I look insane. It's a process. I also recommend this book if you are from the Caribbean or have family who's from the Caribbean because then it will be extra relatable for you. I'm half Dominican. My mom immigrated to the US in the 80s and I don't really know much about her family or ancestry past her own parents. So I really related to the characters in this book who were set in the present and were curious about their own ancestors in the past. I was like, oh, that's me. My mom has mentioned like cousins and aunts and stuff here and there, but because of this book, now I really wanna learn more about them and do some research. Like were their lives in the Dominican Republic hard? Did they suffer? If I go back far enough, were they slaves? Probably. So my main takeaway from this book is you have to know where you came from to understand who you are. Knowing who your family is and what they went through to get down to you can empower you to honor what they went through and also to avoid their mistakes. But really, they didn't have much of a choice in their circumstances. Wow, this loose yellow pigment is really doing me dirty right now. These Ghosts Our Family is a compilation of powerful individual vignettes that overlap each other and are just written so beautifully. Oh, that's looking better. That's good. The whole time, Card is jumping around from person to person to first person to second person to third person all the different perspectives, perspectives you wouldn't even expect. And it really paints a complete picture of this family and what they all went through. So if you're looking for a book to check out while we're all stuck at home right now, I highly recommend this one. Also like each little vignette felt like it could have been its own movie. Like this book could be split into eight different movies. I just honestly cannot believe that this is only Maisie's first book. Like she is so talented. I haven't read that many books set in the Caribbean and this made me want to read so many more. And I know those DNA tests like 23andMe and whatever are like shady because the government like has your DNA, but I'm curious now. I mean, shocker on my point, right? A book about family makes me want to know about my family. I just feel like we don't even really think about family trauma enough. Like whoever you are, whatever you're going through, it does relate back to what your ancestors before you did. That's such a new idea to me. I mean, maybe it's not new, but to me I was like, oh my God, I am a compilation of every person that has ever come before me and everything they have ever done and what does my life mean and what are my ancestors done and where am I going where do they go <gasps> and now I am having some mind-boggling revelations as to the tag clear of course I don't know this book left me feeling like emotionally fragile like who am I what am I what am I doing which is great I want a book that I read to challenge my perspectives on life I'm honestly just really excited to see what Maisie writes next I'm sure her next piece is going to be just as eye-opening and illuminating. Oh, I forgot to do my mustache before we did this. Oh well. So in conclusion, I just really, really recommend These Ghosts Are Family. Maisie Card, if you're out there, maybe in New Jersey, because I think that's where you live, because I'm a creep. Also, I'm pretty sure Maisie is a librarian, and one of the characters in the book is studying to be a librarian and I thought that was cute. Okay, BRB, well, it takes me eight hours to put on these lashes. Wow, these are enormous. That is, that's drama. Oh my God, I wasn't ready for that. Also, something that I think is important to point out, just because your parents are immigrants doesn't mean you have to be a doctor or an engineer or win a Nobel Peace Prize. You're just a person. But I do feel like us first generation kids, we carry that. We carry like, wow, my parents went through so much and they, they talk about how they went through so much and they sacrificed a lot for us, so we gotta make it worthwhile. We have to make what they did for us mean something. And that's a lot of pressure. Ooh, I'm just gonna point out this Ofer pressed powder smells so good. And that's it. This is my completed makeup look based on the cover of These Ghosts Are Family by Maisie Card. How'd I do? 
There were a lot of colors to choose from, but I'm kind of a makeup novice, so I chose like two. I hope you like this makeup look. I will drop all of the products used in the description. Leave me a comment about if you want to read this book now or if you have some weird family generational drama. I'd love to hear about that too. Let's talk about it. Subscribe to my channel, Maisie Card. You're an amazing author. Thank you for this book and I'll see you all next time. Bye. These lashes are insanity. I feel like I have bats on my face.